these guys are gonna die relatively early if they don't have like if they get knocked off the right way. But that being said, both of them have a crazy, crazy comeback mechanic in Limit and also in uh, They both, yeah, yeah, they both have those uh, charge ups, which are really good. <clears throat> Ooh, good downs. He's trying to get back on stage safely. And again, using those rapid jabs to shield pressure. Yeah, the counter's super good when it comes to uh, getting back onto stage. Uh, horizontal. Ooh, good F smash. So he's almost got his uh, KO punch all the way, but not yet. He's pretty close. <laughs> oh, one more hit. Oh, there we go. Now he's got to be careful. Uh, Marathon can charge that limit, though, because... So now Marathon's going to try to use that limit right Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The neutral be super good. <clears throat> yes, you can smash DI the, cal the cross slash. Yeah. I I wouldn't DI in, I'd DI away. Oh, wow. Good down smash. Down smash comes out really fast. If you get both hits, it's really good. Also but, a really good angle to kill Mac. Yeah, he's got that limit though, so this is bad for Mac. Um, air Mac grab. Yeah, Mac having really, really poor aerials off of grabs, so it's kind of difficult. It's difficult. He's gonna start getting in finishing. He is in finishing. That's cool. Good down smash. Way. Yeah. Oh. If I, I expected a punish after that counter, but guess not. Ooh. Good ups. That was up smash. That was really good. Oh, shoot. But um, Cloud has really good aerials. That, oh, that's going to kill off the top, and he's got the KO punch. So it won't kill. He's like, what, 30%? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's at, at least 30. Good down smash. Ooh. He was trying to go for a down air right there. He he almost got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's definitely really good. Um, grab punish. That was pretty good. That was a good punish because I don't think anything else would have worked right there. Maybe a forward tilt or a down tilt, but... Good enough smash. See? So much damage. Oh, that's done. He's done. Wow. Caught his jump. Caught his jump? He didn't have invincibility anymore because he'd already grabbed the ledge. <laughs> but Max down smash comes out relatively fast, so... Yeah, it's good for that too. He's, mm -hmm. You'll see Papa go for that a lot where he's actually trying he to get the does. two frame. He does. He definitely goes for that. But he didn't even need the two frame there because mm -hmm. uh, Marathon put a lot of invincibility. Jumped right into it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's going to stay or change, but... We'll see, we'll, we'll see. Plays like Robin and Lucina, right? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and Corinne, I forgot about that. <clears throat> but... Yeah. This is not the first Corrin uh -uh. that uh, Papa has faced in bracket. Uh -uh. He also 2-0 Twiddly earlier. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, watching that match, it was close, but like it was still a pretty solid 2-0. So I have to imagine that this is a matchup that Papa feels at least somewhat comfortable with after that. But um, Marathon's known for being probably the best with all the Fire Emblem characters. I haven't seen his Ike before or his Marth, but I know he's a huge fan of Fire Emblem, and he's good with pretty much all the characters. Um, so you're going to see a lot of spacing with uh, the Corrin. Um, the neutral B is going to be really good. And that, uh, oh my gosh, you got the sweet spot of up smash right there. That almost killed off the top. Oh, good up smash. 50%. Only 50. He's going to have to go for a gamp right now. Oh my gosh. Staying inside the spacing. Staying inside the point spacing so the outer shield, he has more options. Yeah. He's got to be careful. Oh my gosh. Down tilt into KO punch. That's going to take a game two. Yeah. Papa 2 0 marathon. Well, I would not have expected that. I didn't expect it whatsoever.